this has been a journey, uh, like getting to this point. For us, a lot of people look at our marriage um, from the wedding and they just see fairy tale. I mean, even from the beginning, you know, a lot of people saw fairy tale. Of course, that's, that's all that's promoted. Um, but this is a real marriage. You know, this is a real, a real situation. So we deal with our fair share or even more than our fair share of um, situations in marriage. Uh, and I can just be honest, and I'm quite sure she'll agree. And if she doesn't, she'll, you know, let you know. But I can be honest and say this is probably one of the toughest jobs that you can ever have is being um, married, being a husband or being a wife and having to merge your life with someone. And, you know, it's just a lot. It's, 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 it stretches you beyond measure. So, um, yeah, man, we've it, it, we been through what we've been through since the last time we've been doing this podcast. Um, let, me just, let me just say something to your point. I think that I wanted to, like, clarify why it can be a tough job. Um, so for us, I'll speak for just our marriage. Um, when you have traumatic past and, 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 and trauma, when you have just have trauma in your life, you know, you, you have to deal with that on your own. You know what I mean? Like you have to deal with that. You have to live with that. You have to sleep with that. You have to smile through that. You have mm. to find happiness and joy um, no matter what. You have to find happiness and joy even when you're in pain, even when you are still experiencing trauma. And sometimes you're unaware that you're experiencing trauma, but you just have a feeling that you are not okay. You're in a position where you just don't feel okay. You don't know how to articulate it. You don't know where it's coming from because for so many years you've suppressed the pain and the trauma and so when you merge your life with someone um it's it's a two part two part thing two parts it's two parts to that so for you you have to learn how to for me no i'm saying like oh. for for the person for you for yourself oh, I thought you for was yourself about to, no <laughs> for you to call me out real you quick. have to um you have to learn how to understand what the feeling is and where it's coming from. And you also have to realize that you have to deal with it, right? And I'm not saying like deal with it and keep it. I'm saying deal with it so that you can heal it, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to deal to heal, right? So that's what you got to do. But if you've been suppressing it for so long and you've never talked to anybody about this, it's kind of hard to deal with it. It's kind of hard to even start the process of healing when you're dealing with this trauma. And and so when you merge your life, you have this trauma in you, right? And then you wake up one day and you feel away and your husband or your wife may say something or do something that they may think is funny. They may think it's helpful. They may think whatever, right? They, they That's what they think. It's, it's an uninten unintentional way that you're about to be triggered. And they trigger you and now it's a problem. And so you don't know how to express that issue right especially if you've never talked about it before it's kind of hard to explain that I'm that didn't make me feel good what you just did but the person your, your husband or your wife they don't understand what's going on so black and I deal with that and we still do we still this day we still deal with um I have a lot of um I'm not going to claim the trauma, but I do have trauma. I think um, I think it's important to claim it. I have trauma, right? And so, um, and Black knows um, that I have trauma. And he knows that I deal with, that I've been clinically depressed, I mean, clinically diagnosed with depression, right? But I've I've always, always said that I'm never taking a medication. I don't want to subscribe to that. And so I deal with a lot, right? A lot of emotions. I feel really deeply. Um, and so for me, when I, when I feel like I've been hurt or when I feel like I'm not being seen or heard, um, it is a problem for me, like a huge problem for me. And it stems from not only like my childhood, but it also stems from just relationships that I've been in and friendships and things like that. So to navigate through that is a big deal. It's a big thing. 